Okay, here's another way that the internet is disrupting established businesses. <laughs> like the parking business or the storage business. <laughs> right, because the internet puts people together who have places to park or places to store your things. <laughs> and they're not just big businesses, you know, where you have to pay a lot of money to do this. They're individuals who, gosh, you know, they're going to live the same whether they get extra money or not from the, uh, you know, taking care of your stuff. And uh, so it's bonus for them. And more importantly, see the website even the playing field because ordinarily for you to store your stuff in somebody else's house or something that doesn't have uh, 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 has extra room to store your stuff you'd be worried what's happening and things like that well well see the platform the website takes care of insurance and payments and all this kind of stuff that makes it easier for the person you know providing the uh, the service or the place and the person has stuff that they want to put somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just some guy on Craigslist, you know, you don't know if they're going to run off with it. But here it's all a heck of a lot more uh, secure than it would be just finding somebody on the classified. Now, here's some of the ones. There's here's something called Park Circa, P A R K C I R C A. So, dot com. You go there, you're looking for parking space, right? Wow. You know, this is cool. <laughs> Individuals that have parking space, they're not using it all the time. So they make money with their unused parking spa spaces, you know, like in front of their house or their garage or whatever. That's a way to make money. Another one like that is called Just Park, J-U-S-T-P-A-R-K. P-A-R-K, you got to know how to spell to use this stuff, you know. <laughs> or here, ShareMyStorage.com. Yeah, <laughs> storage space. You know, the storage space business is now $12 billion. And there's 48,000 companies, these self-storage companies. I mean, you drive around the suburbs anywhere. There are all these places or even downtown. Store your stuff here. Store your stuff. Man, you got an empty room? Man, make money of it and store somebody's stuff. And you go on the website, it's all handled for you, and you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. All the detailed stuff you, it would drive you nuts. See, the details are all taken care of for you because of the website, and they take a small percentage. What the heck? You know, I mean, I, when I sold books, I used to give anybody half the money that I would get from the customers to sell my book for me. For me. You know, like a bookstore, that's what they get. They get half the money, you know? And, and the publisher or, or the, you know, the, the writer like me, well, I'd, if I used a publisher, I'd get 5%. If I published it myself, I would get 50% of that money the bookstore had. So here, they get only 5, 10, 15% or whatever, and you get all the rest, you know? And that's what's cool. Or Roost, R-O-O-S-T. Now they handle both parking spaces and storage. Man, you gotta look at this stuff because it's options, it's cheaper for you to use something like this instead of a big company has to pay for overhead and all this other kind of stuff. People have the space anywhere. That's where the ideas of the shared economy comes from. Yeah, <laughs> because we're sharing stuff that nobody's using now. So why don't we become more efficient that way we make money out of it too. That's what's needed. That's why it's peer to peer. It's not dealing with some bureaucracy we don't care about. You know, <laughs> Avis rent a car. You know, I deal with you and I now see you face to face when I pick up my car and I'm going to be nice to that car because I want you to be, you know, you're going to review me as an individual and I'll review you as an individual. And, and so it, it, that's why people say, oh, the internet is going to make people more remote. No, I think it's people bringing people a lot closer together because I'm dealing with individuals. The person who's staying in our apartment that we put on Airbnb for the days we're not using, I'm a delightful person. I had dinner with him and his daughter the other night and just had a wonderful time from Canada. I would have never run into these people before. And so it's really making the world, I think, a lot more richer, not more remote, like they say. So I have seven items like this on how to uh, make money with the gig economy and the shared economy and peer-to-peer uh, -peer economy. So there's seven of, seven of them. The last one we just did was on uh, storing people. And then the introduction to the, all of this. You know, it's about 10, 15 minute, minute introduction showing you the scope uh, of this economy and where, where it's going and how important it is and uh, what you should know about it. And start learning. It's just going to get bigger and bigger. And the closer 
closer you are on the ground floor, the better it is because that's what it's growing the most. You can get the most advantage out of anything. You know, in five years from now, you'll, you'll need a PhD in gig economy or a PhD in peer-to-peer. -peer. <laughs> now, man, you just fill out the form you got. <laughs> so keep learning. It's fun out there. Well, you've just finished one of the eight segments we have on how to make money from the gig economy, shared economy, and peer-to-peer. -peer. The first segment is the introduction. The second segment is full-time, part-time, and one-time jobs. The third segment is one-of-a-kind jobs. The fourth segment is money for your home or your boat. <laughs> the fifth segment is how to get money from your car. Or the sixth segment is money from your closet. There's a lot of money in there you don't know about. <laughs> and the sixth segment, oh, we said that, money from your closet. The seventh segment is money from all your other stuff. And then there's an eighth segment is money from storing other people's stuff. Wow! <laughs> so learn how to make money in the new economy and learn all the ways to do it.